Garrett Wilson was listed as the number one breakout wide receiver for 2023, and I agree. What's going on, guys? Matt O'Leary back with another video. Before we get started today, just wanted to mention you can follow on socials. And don't forget, new episodes of Talking Jets every Tuesday on the new channel. What are you doing if you're not subscribed to the new Talking Jets channel? Myself, Ryan Greenbean, every Tuesday, baby. We're live streaming from 8 to 10. We have our own channel now, so please make sure to check that out. Okay, so Peter Schrager listed his top wide receiver breakout candidates, and he listed Garrett Wilson, Chris Olave, Drake London, Tyquan Thornton, and Justin Ross as his five. Now, this is a really good list. Like outside of, I, obviously, I'm very happy with where Garrett Wilson comes in on this list, but I agree with pretty much the rest of it as well. I love Chris Olave coming out of Ohio State last year. I thought he was a really nice option. Drake London, I'm a little bit concerned about his quarterback play. Ty Tyquan Thornton is an electric an electric player. I know that we're not really fans of the New England Patriots and then Justin Ross there to round it out. But this makes too much sense, right? For Garrett Wilson to be a mega breakout star. And I think you guys, if you're watching this, you have you know me that uh, at this point, I am not, at least I don't believe anyway, I am not someone who will just 100% pump up anyone on the Jets no matter what because they play for the Jets. If I really believe something, I will say it. And I try to keep pretty like, am I the best at it? Not always, but I try to keep level headed and try to stay rational through most of this. But with Garrett Wilson, I can't express how excited I am to see him with Aaron bleeping Rogers throwing him the football when this is what he did as a rookie, mind you. 83 catches, 1,103 yards, and four touchdowns. One, that was done as a rookie. That's an impressive year for a rookie. No matter, like, no context, just drop that in. You don't know what team they play for. All you know is they are a rookie, and that's the number you put up. they put up. And you say, wow, that is really impressive. Add on top of that, that he didn't start at the beginning of the year. The, uh, Lawrence Cager was getting targets over Garrett Wilson in the first half of week one in the Baltimore Ravens game. Lawrence Cager! That was a real thing! Remember? And then he had the big breakout game against the uh, Cincinnati Browns the next week, but they really, throughout the summer and early on the year, it, it, they brought him on a little bit slow. They brought him on slow, and then, oh, by the way, Zach Wilson, Joe Flacco, Mike White, and Chris Strevler were the four quarterbacks who were throwing him passes. Bottom of the barrel quarterback room, unfortunately, for the New York Jets last year. It didn't work out with Zach Wilson. He was hurt. Joe Flacco looked like a corpse for most of the, what, how many games did he play? Four games that he ended up coming in. Mike White at times looked okay, and then obviously the injuries. But this is with, he put up those numbers with bottom tier quarterback play. If you are even getting... Aaron Rodgers at a point where he is playing league average, which, you know, his career shows you he more than likely will give you a little bit above league average. I'm not saying he's going to be the number one quarterback in football anymore, like it's 2015 or whatever year you want to pull out, uh, or even going to be his MVP level from a couple of years ago. But if he is somewhere in that top 10 quarterback range, then Garrett Wilson's going to have a mega season. Is it impossible? Like some of these numbers that, he could put up, Garrett Wilson could put up this year, is so hard for a Jets fan to wrap their head around because we haven't seen playmakers at the skill position at this level in a really long time. Like, 100 catches really isn't out of the question. Again, he had 83 last year in an offense that did not do well throwing the football. Can he put up thirteen to 1,500 receiving yards? Can he be top Easily a top 10 receiving yards leader in the NFL this year. He was 15th last year with just over 1,100. I think he easily gets into the top 10, maybe top 7. I don't I don't know if he gets enough to surpass like Justin Jefferson and Devontae Adams. Maybe he does. Maybe he does this year. But I don't know. 100 catches, 1,400 yards, 10 touchdowns. 
he has a chance to push for double digit touchdowns, which is again, outside of Brandon Marshall, Eric Decker, that one flash in the pure in the pan year in 2015 jets. We haven't seen that as jet fans in a really, really, really long time. You can count, you know, on your hand, on your, on your fingers, how many times the jets have had a thousand yard receivers since 2000 roughly. Right. You know, there's not, there's really not many and having someone who again did this as a rookie with some really, really bad quarterback play. One, you'd only have to imagine that he himself is going to improve naturally as you get more experience and more time in the league, you know, enter into your prime a little bit. He is only going to get better. And then the quarterback play is going to get better. And also, like, the offensive coordinator should be better this year. I I wasn't 1,000% Mike LaFleur was the biggest problem. But going from Mike LaFleur to Nathaniel Hackett, that's an upgrade. And I know Hackett was a failed head coach. That doesn't matter. But as a, as an actual play caller, he had success at a few different spots. Green Bay, he built a really nice offense for Blake Bortles in 2017. Not an easy thing to do. There have been times where he's had success. And all you hear is great things from Hackett, Sala. Aaron Rodgers has talked up Garrett Wilson a ton this offseason. Man, I, I think he is in for a big year. Just got to stay healthy. That's like the one thing that is in the very, very, very back of my mind with all these guys. And Garrett played all 17 games. It's not like he had, you know, health issues last year or anything like that. But it's hard not to have that little thing in the back of your head. He goes, well, injuries can derail a season because we've unfortunately seen it way too often. But man, am I pumped up for Garrett Wilson in 2023. Sound off below what your take is on this. Do you think he is a number one wide receiver breakout candidate? I do. Sound off. I'm Matt. I'll catch you next time.